The Inspiration4 space mission tonight will carry the first all-civilian crew into orbit. The three-day trip will raise money for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. And the four people on board will circle the Earth in a SpaceX capsule. Mark Strassman is at the Kennedy Space Center, the site of that launch. There we go. They've trained for nearly the last half year. Two, one, Inspiration 4's space-bound civilians, the crew of the first fully commercial non-government flight ever to orbit our planet. And as we move, you know, to the moon and Mars and beyond, we're writing the narrative of human spaceflight right now. Here's the crew. 265 feet above the SpaceX launch pad, the mission's commander, Jared Isaacman, walked us down the same path they'll take tonight. Uh, this year, like jetway to the rockets. This is a first. That's significance. That's responsibility. Responsibility being the first, that there will be a second and a third and Absol a fourth. Absolutely. You have to get this one right for all the other great missions to follow. The billionaire entrepreneur, a high school dropout, chartered the flight from SpaceX. Ignition. Liftoff of the Falcon 9 and Crew Dragon. His reported cost? Around $200 million. For three days, they will orbit above the Earth, soaring some 360 miles above the planet, about 100 miles higher than the International Space Station. Through the clear, custom-built cupola in the capsule, they'll have hemispheric views of Earth and deep space. This is where everybody got on also flying, Chris Sembrowski, an aerospace engineer, Cyan Proctor, a science educator from Phoenix, and Haley Arsenault, a 29-year-old physician assistant at St. Jude's Hospital. But when she was 10, the hospital treated her for bone cancer. At some point in space, the crew will talk to children who are now patients at St. Jude's. They're going to see that somebody who was in their shoes, who also fought childhood cancer, can go to space, and I think it's really going to show them what they're capable of. This flight's fundraising goal is $200 million for St. Jude's Hospital, and to jumpstart that, Isaacman personally kicked in $100 million. Mark Strassman, CBS News, at the Kennedy Space Center.